Hi, I'm registered dietitian Carolyn O'Neill, author of The Dish on Eating Healthy and Being Fabulous. Welcome to Emory Healthcare's cooking series, Recipes for Wellness. We're going to show you how to cook delicious and nutritious foods that are good for your waistline and taste great too. I'm with the Director of Surgery, Dr. Edward Lynn of Emory's Bariatric Center. Welcome to the show. I'm happy to be here. Well, you know, I understand that the kitchen is one of your favorite places to be. It is. You know, it's where the whole family gathers, and this is where we teach kids about food and the things that they should do, safe practices in the kitchen. We've got a gorgeous recipe today featuring fresh blueberries. You know, we always want to get people to eat more fruits and vegetables. Yes. Now, Dr. Lynn, I think a lot of people would never even imagine that a dietitian and a bariatric surgeon would be standing in the kitchen telling you to eat dessert. Well, everyone may think surgery is surgery and we are technicians, we'll do operations to fix a problem. But the problem is not just the surgical aspect, it's really what's happening to people in their minds, their lifestyles, the foods they eat, they eat their support system. So it's a lot more than just doing the technical surgeries. Well, let's get cooking. First of all, I'm going to have you help me and add some brown sugar. Okay. Now, this is just a small amount of brown sugar. We have two tablespoons. Our next ingredient is going to be a little bit of cornstarch. This is two teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, so now we're going to add our blueberries. And look at this. They're beautiful blueberries. This is yes. three cups of blueberries. Mm -hmm. So here we to. go. We have a top surgeon working with blueberries right now, folks. I love it. This feels like a home right now. We're going to make this delicious topping. And it starts with oats. And these are quick cooking oats. And uh, we're going to add to that, if you can, again, assist here uh, on the operating table, some brown sugar. And now we're going to mm -hmm. add butter. Yes, I said butter, and I am a dietitian. A little bit of fat, I think, adds okay. a lot of satisfaction. This has been softened, and we're just going to add it in. We're allowed to have a little bit of saturated yeah. fat in our diet, right? We should. You know, people uh, think that you should cut out all fat, but fat is important for hair growth, for your skin integrity. Um, fat that contains both omega-3 and omega-6, they're very important. Yeah. <laughs> now we have one more ingredient to go. Almonds. And these are chopped almonds. Okay. And again, it's going to add more crunch to our crumble and more crumble to our crunch. And the almonds, again, healthy mm. fats, yes. you know, um, and also a little bit of fiber. A lot of people don't know, too, that almonds actually are a pretty decent source of calcium, believe mm -hmm. it or not. A little bit of vitamin they E. They are. I'm a big fan of omega-3 uh, uh, fatty acids. It has plenty of that. So do blue sh uh, blueberries. Believe it or not, they do have a lot of omega-3 and omega-6. Not just in salmon, huh? <laughs> not just salmon. You know, I'll tell you, the people will t uh, th say that you get your best omega-3 uh, fatty acids from fish oil. It's not always true. I think a lot of the... Uh, vegetables, beans, they contain a lot of the good quality, the, probably the best quality omega-3 fatty acids. All right, now we're going to put it in the oven. And uh, again, you want to have it really crunchy and crispy on top, 375, so pretty hot oven. Yes. I'm going to put it right in the middle, and it's going to cook for about 35 minutes or until the blueberries kind of are bubbly and yes. cook through and the topping is nice mm -hmm. and crunchy. What is it that you wish that your patients knew about, knew more about the enjoyment of food? I think uh, I wish patients would make more of their own food. I think too many, t uh, too often people go out, buy something because it's convenient, or they're too busy, or work, it's been a long work day, it's much easier to buy something out. Now, our blueberry crumble is in the oven. Yes. It takes about 35 minutes, I said, and I guess about five minutes have gone by now, but I have a surprise. We already have some that are done, and you and I are going to get to enjoy them sooner rather than later. I'm looking forward to it. I am adding a little scoop, you know, not a whole bunch, but a little scoop, and this is low-fat vanilla frozen yogurt. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't have frozen yogurt like this, uh, you could just use regular Greek yogurt or something as a dollop on top instead of whipped yes. cream. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I love the fact that at Emory, yes. Healthcare, you are telling people they can have beautiful desserts like this. And how's it taste? Mm. Hi, I'm Megan Mohamedion, a registered dietitian for Emory Healthcare. 
That delicious oatmeal blueberry crumble that you just saw is a perfect example of using fruit as a dessert. Try adding a dollop of vanilla Greek yogurt on top. Greek yogurt actually has twice the amount of protein as regular yogurt. This helps you feel fuller longer. Join us at emoryhealthcare.org for more nutrition information and tips.